Okay, so after you have this all filled in, so notice that I filled in all of those little gaps so I can't see that paper underneath of it, we are ready to smooth it out. So I have a couple of ways that you can do this and I'm to make it a little bit easier for you. The first thing that I would recommend doing is taking it off your um, plastic board, whatever you are using to, uh, to store this on. So carefully take this off, um, but keep the piece of paper on it, okay? For just right now. So put it on directly onto your tarp, onto your table, because sometimes if we do it right on this board, it can stick to it and we have problems. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can smooth it out with your finger, which might be a good option for some areas, okay? Now, for those of us that have a lot of details, this could take a little bit of time. So this is where you might wanna go get your box of clay tools. And remember, use the number that your table is assigned. So inside of here, there should be a couple of different tools. You'll probably have one that looks like a stick shape. They're not all the same, but there are some that are very similar. Some might be plastic, some might be wooden. The other two tools that you will probably really use are these tools that are called rib tools, okay? You can see that this is a smooth rib. This one is a serrated rib, okay? And I really like to use the serrated rib to kind of help smooth this out. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways. So first, you might use this wooden tool, which kind of just acts a little bit like your finger. Um, the important part for this though, is that you don't want to press down on it really hard. Instead, we are just kind of working on going back and forth to get rid of any of those lines that we see, okay? Now, alternatively, if you want to try using the serrated rib, what this actually does is you scrape it up, but you gotta make sure you move it back and forth. And I'm not really pressing very hard. I'm just kind of lightly scratching the surface. So go back and forth. And then you might actually take this smooth side or the smooth one and kind of start to smooth it out a little bit, okay? Now, mine is really uneven, so I'm gonna have to use kind of a combination of all of these tools and my finger, okay? So just experiment with it. I'm gonna speed it up and then show you the next part. Okay, so once we have it mostly smoothed out here, it should be pretty smooth. We shouldn't be able to see any evident lines left behind, okay? So what you're gonna do then is now you can carefully flip it over and peel that paper off, okay? So it's best to kind of just kind of go like this. Um, if it's really kind of smashed in there a little bit, use this needle tool and just kind of start the edge. It doesn't matter if a little bit of that paper get stuck to it, no big deal. We'll take care of that later, okay? So now from here, um, <clears throat> what you can do if you need to peel off some of this, that's fine, but it's really not gonna be a big deal. So then our last step that we're gonna do here is if there's anything you need to smooth out or you want to go in and um, smooth, you can do that with any of these tools. But what I would recommend doing is cleaning up the edge here. This needle tool works really, really well if you kind of need to trim anything down, if something doesn't look quite even enough. Just kind of go around and take care of any of those little crumbs, okay? So then, after you do that, you will want to come, and another option too is if you'll have to get this sponge wet, but you can lightly go around the edges and smooth out that with the sponge. The sponge is really dry right now, but um, that's probably something that I will do with mine. Okay, <clears throat> so then once you're done with this, we won't add the little feet on the bottom yet, but we want it to kind of have a little bit of a curved shape. So you can come get a small little plastic or styrofoam plate like this, and what you're simply going to do is you're just going to set it on top and kind of press it in how you want, how much you want it to curve up, okay? So 
this will only create a little bit of a slight curve. If you want it to curve up a little bit more, what you can do is you can take some newspaper, crumple it up into a small clump here. And if there's anything you want to be propped up a little bit more, you just prop it up underneath directly on that plate, okay? So um, you might do something like that. It, Maybe do it on all four sides, that's gonna be up to you, okay? I'm just gonna keep mine the shape of this though, all right? So then, this will be the last step that you will do now. We will add the feet of the clay next class. So what you'll do is simply, you don't need your board anymore if it's on this plate, but put it in here, wrap it, and carefully just store it in your bin. 